But if you are lucky enough to get your deer opening day, hey, you can share a tradition with everybody in the deer camp. Opening day deer liver. It is great. The most difficult part of this recipe, of course, is getting the deer liver. The rest of it is easy and involves only three ingredients. The deer liver, fresh onions, and butter. That's it. No breading, no spices, no garlic, no wine, just a basic meal. And if you've never tasted anything like this, I tell you, you are in for a real treat. No need to get fancy about slicing the onions. You can uh, leave your kitchen magician and all of those wonderful slicers, grinders, uh, do your laundry and use it to tune your car type items at home. Deer Camp is a place to get back to the basics. Just a good sharp knife is all you need. By the way, a, a sharp knife is really a lot safer than a partially sharp one. You make your cuts when and where you want them, and you're really more careful if you know it's sharp. And as we talked about earlier with the doctor, it's important to be careful even in the kitchen. Well, first of all, you saute the onions over the fire until they're almost ready to eat because the liver takes no time at all. You need to have running water near your camp, and on this particular morning, you can see it was cold. That was opening day of 1977, to be exact, about noon, I think. Ron Bacon and I both got our deer about an hour after daylight, both of us hunting from blinds like the one you just saw. We were in sight of each other. We got our bucks at the same time. Now, that doesn't happen very often. But we take that cold northern Michigan water and use it to wash off that fresh liver. You want to slice that liver thinly. I mean thinly, just like you see it. This is the freshest liver you'll ever have and the best, if you don't ruin it. Now, the ways to ruin it, well, you can use a lot of breading and spices. But you can ruin it most of all the way most people ruin most liver and complain about how bad it tastes. You overcook it. And liver is one piece of meat that most people aren't content to just overcook. They like to cook it through and through about three or four times, you know, until it has the consistency of cardboard. It gets all fibrous and dry. Well, that's not the way to cook liver, most of all opening day deer liver. Once you get it on the fire, honestly, only cook it for 45 seconds or so on each side. No more than a minute. You want it a little rare inside. Okay, I understand you aren't up to that yet. Well, leave it at least a little pink. That takes two minutes maximum over a hot fire. I might add here that people generally don't know how to take care of venison or deer meat. They, dragging it out of the woods is traditional, but really, would you drag a fresh T-bone steak home from the butcher shop? Carry it out on a pole. And you don't need to hang it to age it if you're going to freeze the meat. Aging breaks down the tough fibers, but freezing does the same thing. And another thing, don't treat venison like it's venison. Treat it like you would any other piece of meat in the kitchen. If you cook it like you do steak or any other piece of beef, unless it's an old buck, you'll love it. Let me make one qualification. Remove all the fat. Only eat the meat. It makes a world of difference in flavor. Well, I'm sorry, by the way, about those burnt onions. That's not a part of the deal. But if you ever try to film a recipe, you know that the filming takes longer than it takes to cook onions. And that's what happens. But now let's wait for a word of approval. It's great, you bet. I know the chef is always biased, but believe me, it is great. And I hope you're lucky enough to be eating opening day deer liver this Sunday. <laughs>